I want to do something a little fun, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you're about to see a picture pull up on the screen. And as an Atlantean myself, I must say I'm rather a connoisseur in this kind of thing. It basically says, which meal is my number one overall pick? Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me talk about the varsity first. Everybody in Atlanta knows that the varsity is criminally overrated. It is. It is. Don't get mad, all right? Don't get mad at the grand, the grandpas watching this video, the grandmas, the people who've lived in Atlanta. All that. Do not get mad. It's overrated. It just is. It's no longer in its prime, right? It's like what LeBron's going to be at 60 years old playing basketball, essentially, right? Probably still pretty good. Probably going to be really good. Probably still be in shape. But it's just not the same. Not the same. Then going to Chick-fil-A, everyone eats Chick-fil-A. I feel like everybody orders that chicken sandwich. I mean, there's a Chick-fil-A at my school at North Carolina a &T. There's a Chick-fil-A on every corner in almost every state in the United States, it seems like. Everyone eats Chick-fil-A. But they're not going to be my number one overall pick either. Because I, while I'm not a Chick-fil-A hater... I'm not the world's biggest fan of it at the same time. Chick-fil-A is not my favorite fast food restaurant. I think Chick-fil-A is really, really good, but people act like God came down and made that chicken. Guys, it's good, but it's not that good. And plus, these guys don't even open on Sundays. I can't watch them while, or I can't eat their food while watching football. And I don't like that. I don't. I don't. If I was the U.S. president, I would require these guys to be open on Sundays. Now, go ahead, open at 1 o'clock. I know a lot of you are going to say, well, they go to church. Name me a church service that lasts 24 hours. I'm waiting because you don't have one. These guys will be open at 1 p.m. on Sunday, right in time for me to catch a chicken sandwich while watching the Atlanta Falcons probably choke a 20-point lead. Now, going to American Deli. See, you guys probably don't think I know my staples, but trust and believe me, don't let my glasses, my shirt, and my nerdy look fool you. I know bangers when it comes to things like this. I know bangers. Your boy is a rather big back. I don't know if you can tell, but this is a heavyset man you're looking at here. Now, Grant says a very handsome, elegant heavyset man you're looking at here. But this is a heavyset man here. I'm a connoisseur for good food. A connoisseur. I know it all when it comes to this kind of thing. So my AirPod just fell out. I know it all when it comes to this kind of thing. Which is how I know that American Deli is also slightly overrated. Slightly. Still really good. It can hit. And a lot of these locations are, a lot of these restaurants are location dependent. I've been to some crappy American Delis. And I've been to some really darn good ones. But nonetheless, my number one overall pick is Waffle House. Waffle House is fantastic. It's the best restaurant to ever grace the planet. I will forever love Waffle House. Waffle House, you have my whole heart. You're my pookie bear. All of that stuff. I love it. I love it. Once again, if you want to know where good food is at, ask your guy. Ask this handsome, elegant, educated man you're looking at on the screen with his beautiful smile and pearly white teeth and nerdy-ish glasses. Ask me. Trust me. I know bangers.